I'm at Blackburn today in Melbourne and I'm here to show you some of my favourite details in Dylan and Tyler's amazing transformation. Can you believe this was an old 1950s weatherboard cottage into this light-filled cathedral-like extension that I'm standing in today? So this is the kitchen and living and dining area. Absolutely stunning. I could talk about it all day long, but I've got probably a minute to share some of my favourite details across the house. Starting off with some of these delicious curves that are very, very subtle, but there's a wonderful cohesion to the entire design. And uh, kudos to Tyler, who is a landscape architect, but she's also quite good at interiors, apparently. So this is about materials. Palettes are so important when you're looking at building materials. And what I love most about this is its texture, but the way it connects outdoors within. I love finding unexpected materiality from outside and using it in indoor instances. And it just feels so nice underfoot as well. This gorgeous timber floor is also reclaimed from the original build. So yes, completely recycled. It's all been sanded, stained and sealed. And look how good it's come up. It looks brand new. This lovely curved detail again, playing into that really subtle curve story that's found throughout the layering of this house. This is old framing from the old original house as well. So, so clever. Now this is one of my favourite details. I love stone. So when I saw this, I was like, Whoa, where'd you get it? And this was actually salvaged from a mason. This was not a full slab. There's loads and loads of offcuts that can be used in instances like this. And this is a perfect example because it's quite small. It's just a beautiful, colourful addition to an otherwise quite neutral space. Again, some of those subtle plays in the curvilinear forms are found also through the walls, through the shower, through the mirrors, to the lighting. And again, some of the reclaimed timbers to the face of the joinery here in the cabinets for the bathroom. And then finally, as I'm standing under the vestibule entryway, this is one of my favourite details because it's something you see when you first enter the house, but also as you leave. These great subtle curves to the edges of this inlaid ceiling recess. Really, really pretty. And again, just for that extra pop, gave it a bit of colour. Now, I know I said finally, and this really is the last detail. This was a great find. Tyler and Dylan found this online from secondhand places. And again, another great addition to a sustainable living. And this project has so many details like that. It's packed, jam-packed of really wonderful ideas. It's super affordable and very sustainable. I mean, what's not to love about that?